we're going to address today how to pick a peep sight. You know, peep sights come in uh, all kinds of diameters, all kinds of different styles. Um, with this day and age, with good string material, and with the uh, the invention years ago of a D loop, um, we don't have to use the the, the peep sights that have the rubber tubing. Um, you still can, but they're not nowhere near as popular as they used to. Um, these peeps are G5 peeps. There's other brands of peeps. Uh, G5 peeps are made of uh, it's a meta peep, so it's an aluminum peep. And then also, uh, they just come out with one. It's a titanium peep. But the most important thing about a peep sight is the diameter of the peep sight. Di they come in all different sizes, all the way from a 5 16 all the way down to a, um, a 3 16 or even smaller, 3 32nds. So the, probably the most popular is a 3 16 or a quarter. That's the most popular size of this day and age. But how to determine the peep size is the smaller the peep, naturally more accurate it is, um, usually with target situations we use smaller peeps because they are more accurate you don't dance around in the peep as much you make sure you're centered in it but the disadvantage of that into a hunting situation is the smaller the peep the less light that it allows in so in those low light conditions when we know um, deer are moving you know just right at daylight or right at dark uh, you don't gather as much light so you can't see your pin so there, you gotta have a happy medium there you gotta have a large enough peep to gather enough light but you don't want too large so that you uh, dance around the peep and your accuracy blows out. So, um, like I say, three sixteenths and a quarter inch is the most popular. Another thing to consider when you're getting a peep sight, once you've narrowed it down to that range, you know, one or two peeps, is you get it installed. Like I shoot a three sixteenth peep. Is most all apertures on uh, sights now are round, and depending on the size of the aperture, depending on the length of your draw, because the length of your draw determines how far this peep sight is away from your sight. So another good anchor point or uh, a way to line yourself up to make sure that you're consistent in shooting machine like every time is to choose the peep sight that at full draw is just about the same size as your aperture on your sight so that they line up so that you can lock that that pin in, uh, that, that sight aperture inside your peep sight and it's perfectly round to the same size peep. So you may have to play with that. There are some peeps out there that are adjustable. I know True Glow makes one that's really adjustable. You can, once you put it in there, you can change the size of the aperture while it's in the string. So that's a nice feature. Um, but uh, these peeps, uh, the meta peeps, I really like them because on an angle, uh, you know, even if your peep turns just a little bit, you can still see through it there. So you're not like uh, in the dark, so to speak, whenever the deer comes up. So bigger peep more light lower light conditions you can see better smaller peep more accurate those target shooters smaller peep is more accurate and then also make sure that it kind of fits your aperture so that uh, you're more consistent and your machine like so that's our lesson on peep sites today